What's going on everybody? Kyle here back with another video. Today we are at the Home Depot and I'm gonna show you guys how to build a DIY landmine. I'm gonna try to keep it as cheap as possible. Uh, the reason I wanna build one of these is because uh, as you know, I am moving into an apartment so I'm renting and I don't wanna damage the wall by shoving my barbell into the corner of the wall. So I'm gonna try to come up with some kind of cheap solution. I have some ideas that I wanna play around with. Uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. I'm gonna go into the store, pick out some supplies, and I'll come back and show you what I got and how to build this thing. Until then, please follow me on Instagram, at KyleManyFit, and please subscribe and like this video if you wanna see more tutorials like this. All right, I'm gonna head inside. I'll see you guys soon. I got my mask. All right guys, so I'm back from Home Depot. Uh, I wanna go through what I bought. So first of all, I spent $42 on this project. But keep in mind that about $15 of that was for a different project. Basically, I bought some hooks and and whatnot for the for the apartment gym because I'm not sure what our storage situation is going to be to hang belts and bands. And so I bought some hooks and some miscellaneous items for that. But as far as the landmine goes, I bought this caster. Uh, it's rated to 250 pounds. So basically my plan is to take this wheel out, replace it with this PVC pipe. I'm not sold on the idea of PVC. I'm not sure how it's gonna hold up in the long run, but that's something we're gonna have to keep in mind. But it's a, a good way to keep the cost down. I also bought four lag bolts for the base to install the base, to install the caster to the base. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna do that yet. Uh, I do have some like scrap wood at home. I'm gonna play around with the base and you guys are gonna see that. Some more um, hooks for storage. I bought some washers and lastly, I bought some spray paint because I'm planning on painting it black because uh, I want everything to match and look semi-decent. So I'm gonna head home and we're gonna dive into how to build this landmine. Stick around. Alrighty folks, so we are back in the basement. We're gonna get started on this. Full disclaimer before I start this video, I am not a carpenter. I do not claim to be good at carpentry. So take this video for what it's worth. Hopefully you can get some good ideas, make it your own maybe. So step one, since I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the base yet, I'm gonna assemble the actual landmine portion. So first thing I'm gonna do is get this caster off. I'm gonna cut the PVC pipe down to size and I'm gonna hopefully bolt this on here and then we'll go from there and figure out what I'm gonna do for a base. Alright, so the sleeve of the barbell that I'm planning on using is 14 and a half inches long, so I'm gonna cut this PVC pipe down to 15 and a half inches and leave myself about an inch on the bottom for the hole to go through for the bolt so we can bolt it into the caster. So let's go cut that. PVC pipe cut here, 15 and a half inches. That should work for most barbells, but if you want to customize it to whatever barbell you happen to be using, just go measure the sleeve, add an inch or so. So what we're gonna do next is we're gonna bolt the PVC pipe to the caster like so. Uh, first issue I've run into with this is that this is a very, very tight fit with the uh, PVC pipe and the caster. It's gonna work fine. If anything, it might be a little better. 
but just so you know, if you use the same materials as me, it's gonna be a tight fit. You might not think it's gonna fit at first. So I'm gonna position this in here and mark out the holes, drill them, and bolt this to this. And we're gonna go from there. Okay, so you're gonna want to find a, a drill bit that's slightly larger. I don't know if you guys can say that. Slightly, just slightly larger than the, the bolt. Um, that'll allow for a little bit of wiggle room because, as you probably saw in the previous uh, previous video there, it's kind of difficult to line up the center of this. So maybe someone out there has a better way of doing that. I just kind of eyeballed it. I think it's gonna do the trick just fine. It looks like I'm pretty much in the middle. So with a little movie magic, I got that done very fast. Uh, <laughs> so another issue that I came across here is because the pipe is spreading out the caster here, the bolt is a little short. It works, but I may end up replacing it with a longer bolt. But again, it does the trick. I'm not too concerned about it. So the next step is going to be to figure out a base, and I'm going to go play around with that. And show you what my ideas are okay so we're back down the other end of the basement my plan for a base is something that will ideally fit underneath and kind of lock into the rack here now I want to do that because we're gonna be short on space in the apartment so I want this platform here to be the main lifting area so we can do our landmine work right here but I also want to make it so that I can throw some of these 75 pound dumbbells on there and hold it stationary just in case someone is squatting or using the rack and someone else wants to be doing landmine work. That I want that to also be possible, but my main concern will be getting it to fit under the rack and I think we can just stick some weights on it either way and make it stick. So I'm going to go find some scrap wood and play around with that idea. Alright, so for the base, I think what I'm going to do is a... 16 and a half by 16 and a half square made out of one by four. I got a piece of one by four back there. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go three horizontally, three vertically, screw those all together, and then I'll mount the landmine on top, and then I'm gonna put some kind of stopping mechanism so that when I push it back into the rack, it only goes as far back as that bottom cross member that I just showed you guys. So I'm gonna start cutting some pieces and assembling this. Alright, so I got the pieces cut for the base. And in case you're following along and you want to do this exactly how I did it, you would need one 10 foot piece of 2x4. So how I'm going to do it is I'm going to do three wide and then I'm going to stack these opposite like, like that. I'm going to screw these together and mount the landmine 
on it, something like that, with the, with the lag bolts. Okay, so we got the base done. It just needs a few more screws so it's nice and rigid, but you'll see here I got the uh, the back part where the cross member of the rack will rest up against. And here I put some, some triangle supports to um, stop some of the force of the rack, depending on how much weight I got on here. The next step is gonna be to attach the landmine. So I'm gonna mark out the center of this and the center of the caster plate here. And I'm gonna bolt it down with the lag bolts. Okay, and she is done. So I put some extra screws in here. Thing is rock solid. Uh, I will eventually paint it black, but for the sake of this video, I'm not going to. I'll post a picture to my Instagram when it is black, so please check out my Instagram, at KyleManyFit, if you wanna see the complete finished product. But until then, I'm gonna put together a little compilation at the end of this video here of movements you can do, how it's gonna work. And I appreciate you guys checking out the video. Again, if you want to see more tutorials like this, I got a whole bunch of DIY home gym solutions for you guys. Please subscribe, please like this video, and share it with anyone who you think cares. Again, I appreciate you guys checking out the video. I will see you next week.